Should we start with our second lesson now? We quickly run through the objectives, okay, because they are very scoring. The nationalist movement in Indochina. Let us look at the first one. Cochin China became a French colony in dash. That means we have to write the year that it became a French colony. Okay. So, that was in 1867. They can also ask you in which year did Cochin China become a French colony. Then you will have to write 1867 or if you say which French colony was established in 1867 in the east. So, then you can write Cochin China. Second one, Paul Bernard was a policy maker. As a one line answer, they can ask you what was Paul Bernard or name a policy maker, but that is a little vague because there will be so many policy makers. So, normally they will give you his name and they will ask you what was his profession. Next, the French Indochina was established in 1887. So, the question can come as when was the French Indochina established? Okay, going on to the fourth one. Have you all taken it down already? If you feel you need to write it down, write it down for yourself. Fourth one, the Tonkin Free School was established in 1907. So, the question for one line will be when was the Tonkin Free School established? The fifth question, children of Dash School protested against the French educational policies. That, that is of the Saigon native girls school. So, the Saigon native girls school protested against the French educational policies. Let us look at the sixth one. The bubonic plague struck Hanoi in that means you have to write the year. Okay, this was in 1903. Suppose it comes as which epidemic spread in Hanoi in 1903, then you will have to write the answer as bubonic plague. And if it comes in which year what did the bubonic plague spread in Hanoi or when did it strike Hanoi, then you will write the year 1903. The seventh one, Dash revolt in Vietnam in 1868 was against the spread of Christianity. Now, this one was the scholars revolt. Okay, the scholars revolt. Have you got these also? Let us continue with the eighth one. Dash was the founder of the Hua Hao movement. Now, be careful of the spelling, okay, write it very carefully, H U Y N H that is Hyun Fu So, okay, get your spelling correct, otherwise you will lose marks because of that. So, Hyun Fu So was the founder of the Hua Hao movement. So, if they ask you who was the founder or other way around they can ask you, who founded the Ho Hua movement or which movement did he found? So, whichever way they ask, you should know the answer. The ninth one that we go to, Dash was influenced by the democratic ideals of the West. Now, here we have Fun Chu Trin T R I N H. Okay, so, you get the spelling right again, Fan Chu Trin was influenced by democratic ideals of the West. <clears throat> As a one liner, they can ask you who was influenced. Okay. Next one, let us see the tenth one. In 1911, the monarchy in China was overthrown by, now this was Dr. Sun Yet Sun, by Dr. 
sun, yet, sun. It can also be asked in another way, in which year did Dr. Sun Yat Sen overthrow the monarchy in China? The monarchy in China was known as the Manchus, who had come from Manchuria and they were ruling over China. So, then you will have to write in 1911. Okay? Or, whom did Dr. Sun Yat Sen throw, overthrow in 1911? Then you will have to write the monarchy in China. So, three, four different ways that it can be asked. The eleventh question that we have, Dash wrote the book, The History of the Loss of Vietnam. The person who wrote this book was Fan Bo Boy Chu. Okay? Fan Boy Chu. Or it is also written as Chao this way. Okay? Chu or Chao. So, in your textbook it is given as Chao. So, you write Fan Boy Chao wrote the book. In the next one, the French were defeated in which battle? So, they were defeated in the battle of Dien Bin Phu. So, you have Dien, D I E N B I E N Phu. Okay, so, they were defeated in this battle of Dien Bien Phu. Please get your spellings correct because I know it is like a tongue twister, right? Going on to the 13th one. The provinces of Gu An, this N is not pronounced, okay? It is Gu An and Ha Tien in Vietnam were called the electric fuses. Now, why were they called the electric fuses? Because any time there will be a spark and there will be one big dhamaka. That is why they were known as electric fuses. The fourteenth one, the word Ho Chi Minh, that means his name, what does it mean? It means he who enlightens. Inke naam ka arth kya hota hai? He who enlightens, yane jo gnyan ka prakash felate hai. Okay, so that is what his name means. The fifteenth one, if you see, Dash was the French commander in the battle of Dien Bien Phu. You already know in Dien Bien Phu, the French were defeated. So, who was their commander at that time? Now, in English, we will pronounce this as Henry. But in French, they pronounce it as Henri. Henri Navan. You must have heard of Henri Thierry, who is a very good footballer. So, it is pronounced as Henri, okay? not Henry. But if you feel, then I will forget the spelling is important because you will be writing your exam. Let us look at the next one. The Vietnamese Communist Party was formed in which year? So, this was in 1930. When was the Vietnamese Communist Party formed? The Vietnamese Communist Party was formed in 1930. Okay? So, as a one-liner also you can get. Seventeenth one, Vietnam got its formal independence in which year? So, this was in 1945. That was when it got its formal independence. Going on to our 18th one. The NLF occupied the presidential palace in Saigon on and we have to write when exactly it happened. Okay? So, you have 30th April 1975. Now, if they ask you in, then you will write directly the year, but when you have the word on, then you know you have to write on 30th April 1975. Dash was a woman rebel who drowned herself. Now, what was her name? Who was the woman rebel who drowned herself? So, you have 
ટ્રુ આવો ટ્રુ આવો ઓકે ધીસ ઇઝ હર નેમ એન્ડ ધીસ ઇઝ હર સર નેમ નેક્સ્ટ ક્વેશ્ચન પોલ બર્નાર્ડ વોઝ એન નાઉ સી ઓલરેડી એન ઇઝ ગિવન સો યુ નો ઇટ સ્ટાર્ટ વિથ અ વાવલ સાઉન્ડ સો ટ્રાય ટુ ગેસ વિચ વન ઇટ ઇઝ વોટ વોઝ હિઝ પ્રોફેશન હેવ યુ ગોટ ઇટ નો he was an economist and that is the reason why an is already given so in a way it's already giving you slightly a clue 21st one dash led the scholars revolt now who led the scholars revolt if that is the question it is the officials at the imperial court okay so they were the ones who led the scholars revolt the 22nd one in 1907 1908 many vietnamese students went to japan under dash movement this was known as the go east movement why did this happen in 1905 if you remember japan had defeated a very big country and that is russia so they felt that we don't always have to go to the west to modernize ourselves to learn things so that's why many of the students went to japan and that was the go east movement the 23rd one vietnam was unified in which year now you know there was north vietnam and south vietnam so this was in 1975 next one the dash fought against chinese domination in 39 and 40 ce these were the trung sisters before the french arrived you know that there was chinese domination and now we come to the last one the 25th one dash decided to intervene in the vietnam war that means the vietnam war between north and south who intervened which country intervened we know it is the united states of america or you can simply write the usa so here we have the fill in the blanks as of course you know it can also come as match the columns it can come as one line answer so for any short answers you should get your full marks